Welcome everyone to A Moment with Betty Starring Matthew Martin Thank you again and what a privilege it is to be in your lovely home Why thank you And it's such a pleasure to have you in my home It looks like we're in for a special treat And yes I'm going to be making a cake for you My special chocolate cake surprise You see my Dear Agent Saul Greenberg said I, I needed to be more pleasant when being interviewed. And sweeter was the word that he used. So I thought to myself, what could be more sweet than a chocolate cake? He said I, I might be bitter about something. Not bitter about anything. Just because Baby Jane's the first film I've made in years, I'm not bitter at all. As a matter of fact, I'm goddamn excited. I've been talking to a producer about remaking all of my films. All about Eve, Hush Up Sweet Charlotte, and many more. So you see, I'm not bitter at all. It's just because I have so many of you in my house that I'm, I'm a little testy. So let's make a cake. First of all, you always have to have some lard. But the first thing we want to do is start with two cups of sugar. Uh, a cup or so. Is that nice? I like these little measuring utensils, whatever that looks like. About two cups or so. And then we're going to put in one and three fourths cup of flour. Put the flour over there and we'll go just like that. And you, a little flick of the wrist and it's in. And then we put in three fourths cup of cocoa. And then we're going to put in a, a just a, a one and one half teaspoon of baking powder. I just go like that, sort of put it in with a little flick of the fingers. And then we've got one teaspoon of salt. Whoops, nothing wrong with salt. I'm salt of the earth myself. And now we put all of the dry ingredients into our, whatever they call this thing. Someone gave it to me as a wedding present years ago and I, Never really had the opportunity to make it, but since you're a special guest and you're here just for you, I'm going to make it. Now, the one thing you need to know when I cook, and so often you get distracted when you're baking, and you've really got to keep your focus. The same way I, I use the approach when I do pods on film. If you keep your focus, nothing can get in your way. Any kind of catastrophe, anything that, oops, <laughs> silly goose that I am, I, I forgot the eggs. Now we're going to use two whole eggs, and I just hate it when they crack, so you have to be very, very gentle when you do it, and you just put them in like that. You see? Don't you hate it when they break? And you put the other one in just like that. And you two can make a cake. Now, I find it's always good to, to take a minute. If you need to time yourself, I usually light a cigarette. And by the time I take just a, a couple of puffs, I think I, it, it, it's done. Now, sometimes it gets a little messy, but it's all right. Now, that's rather an obscene cut. Oh dear God, no, that's not right. It needs to mix a little bit more, but that just gives you, gives you all the more time to, to enjoy yourself because cooking should be a pleasurable experience. I just put a, nothing wrong with that. 
you know, a rum cake is delicious. And your guests will love it all the more. It mixes up just like that. And the thing is, you don't need to bother with, with other things that are going on. You just let it do it. And, and it all will turn out all right. Even if you can't cook with shit, it'll work out. I need a cup of boiling water. You know, if you don't have boiling water, you can sometimes get away with, oh, get away with just throwing a little of that water in there like that. And I, I just put that in there. But the thing is, it's gonna happen. If you just let it happen, It'll happen. But the log away. Now the next thing you want to do, the next thing you want to do is make another drink. But when I host dinner parties, I, I sometimes throw in a couple more because it's like a, um, it helps raise it. You know, I insist upon making birthday cakes for my children and my husband Barry because it's a personal touch when I'm not at the studio working and I, I like to do things nice for my family. And not many people really know it, but I'm really rather domestic. You really never know it. I, I don't play the big star at home or anything like that. I just, I just like to put on some comfortable clothes and to cook for my, my family, as, as most of you homemakers do. You see, I think it might be time. Look at that. It's almost ready. Now what you want to do is get a couple of baking pans and, and where's our lard? You put some, some, some lard into a baking pan and, and spread it all over. And then you pour the contents of the cake mix. Of the cake mix. Of the cake mix into your pants, like so. Uh, you can never have enough lard. Now, if you move it like that, and you, if you, if you move it like that, and you pour a little like that, into a pan. <laughs> Is the oven supposed to smoke like that? Perfect. Every time. Smash it, bub. Who wants the first piece? I don't know what happened. 